for warning Buhari against Islamizing Nigeria, T.Y. Danjuma, as if under fire. A Middle Belt group has berated the National Christian Elders Forum, NSEF, for claiming that some Islamists are plotting jihad in Nigeria. The group also condemned the involvement of notable Nigerians including a former chief of army staff T. Y. Danjuma in the claim. The Middle Belt group said the Christian Forum claim is aimed at creating an ethno-religious crisis in Nigeria. A former chief of army staff Theophilus Danjuma, a former Van Ambrist A. Chukwimka as IF and others have come under attack for issuing a warning to President Muhammadu Buhari against the Islamization of Nigeria. The group. Middle Belt People's Progressive Congress, MBPPC, berated the National Christian Elders Forum, NSEF, over its claim that jihad, a fight against enemies of Islam, has been launched in Nigeria. At a press briefing on Tuesday, July 17, the MBPPC said the claim by the Christian group led by Solomon A. C. Moda was a deliberate attempt to create ethno-religious crisis in Nigeria. The group said NSEF is a highly discredited body with membership populated by individuals with questionable characters. The President General of the MBPPC Amos Yunusa said that the NSEF's members laid the foundation of Nigeria's problem and various agitations for the secession of different region in the country. Yunusa said. The permutation is nothing beyond the desire of some self-serving and satanically inclined religious debauches to create chaos, anarchy and violence in the guise of representing the interests of Christians in Nigeria. Experiences have indicated that northern Nigeria, particularly, the Middle Belt region is a fertile ground for such crises. Our elite have always exploited the innocence and vulnerability of our people, as NSEF presently postures, to create this confusion to ignite an eventual ethno-religious conflagration. They cannot today throw a satanic slap on our faces by accusing President Muhammadu Buhari of causing what they described as the current spate of ethno-religious crisis, agitations for secession in Nigeria, promoting jihadists' agenda herders slash farmers clashes and the disrespect for Nigeria's constitution and federal character principle. It is more bemusing to unearth the persona inside some of the personalities in Zef who are mouthing sanctimoniously about concern for Nigeria, sanity and Christianity. In the Nsef meeting in Abuja, last Thursday, Retired generals like Tai Danjima, Joshua Dogniaro and Zamani Lekwat and the former governor of Old Danambra State, Chief Chukwimka as I4 among a retinue of others who graced the parley and released a public statement pontificating about saintliness. In their infantile reasoning, they erroneously thought, they could hide their dark misdeeds with the diction of current problems in Nigeria and effectively blind every Nigerian to any sense of history and the subtle incitement to begin another mass massacre of themselves along religious, ethnic and political persuasions. Danjima flaunts a conscience that is dead, or else he would have reminisced that secession agitations and jihadists' agenda are not problems of today under a Buhari presidency. We all know unmistakably that the gory events of the 1966 counter-coup by young northern military officers precipitated call. Ajak Wu's declaration of a Biafran Republic, Yunusa added. Naj. Com earlier reported that the NSEF during a meeting in Abuja said they had uncovered plans by some Islamists to impose the Sharia ideology on Nigerians. The group after their meeting issued a communique noting the budding constitutional crisis in Nigeria. The meeting which was held on Thursday, July 13, was attended by General Joshua Doganiaro, 
Generals Amani Lekwad, Elder Moses Iond, General Theophilus Tanjuma, Elder Shanawagyu, and Chukwimka as Ifa.